welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. Man, I feel very, very tempted to tell y'all a sob story here, but we're going to keep it short. We're going to do the review, and then we're going to let y'all go. So, Auntie Anne's, good old Auntie Anne's has a new frost, a Dragon Fruit Mango Frost. Mango seems to be a very popular flavor this summer. I guess the ingredients to make mango is cheaper, but I also know it's harder to get. So, very weird stuff going on. But this is their, uh, their Dragon Fruit Mango Frost, new for the summer, limited time only. That's quite pretty. I wish they had to put more, but the, the guy was young that was helping me out, so you know i'm at the chesapeake square location inside of walmart and i guess the owner i don't know if he's a manager or if he's an owner i assume he owns it um but it's a subway slash auntie ant and he has a frost machine just like all auntie ant should right well i would go back in december december yeah when they had the new peppermint hot chocolate frost and I'd keep going to the same one I don't know why I didn't try and look for a different one but I just keep going here saying maybe just maybe I can get my hands on it not realizing there's probably a dozen other auntie ants out here and I never got my hands on it but every time I'd go he would say the machine's broken which I always interpret that you know with the, the with the American aspect I always interpret broken as we're, we're just not running the machine today. We, we don't want to run the machine today. We ain't feeling like it. That's how I interpret it. But I don't look at it from other people's perspectives. And so when I bought this today, I saw the machine was working. I went in and I bought it. He, he wasn't the guy that served me. But when I got it, he remembered me. And he said, yeah, my, my machine's working now. And he kind of, and I don't want to hold y'all off too much longer. But he kind of broke it down. He was like, yeah, so there was one part that was broke that cost $100 to replace. The machine was like four years old. And the, the company that kind of serviced us, they want money. Like, and that's understandable. They, they want to rob you and make all the money they can. So it's like a one-year warranty. And then after three years, four years, you know, like, yeah, you're going to have to buy a new machine. We're not going to give you the part. So that's exactly what happened. Uh, you know, he, he kind of had like tug of war trying to get that $100 part for the, the perfectly fine machine. And well, he had to buy a new machine. Now, I don't know if he had to pay out of pocket how all that worked. I hope he didn't, but I really feel bad for him if he did. Um, but he, he's got a new machine. It's up and running. Go support him. Especially if I like this item and you're from my area, go support, go support this guy. Um, you know, that's, that's what you can do. Uh, and there's a subway in there. If you're tempted to eat subway, you're in the Chesapeake area, go to this subway. Uh, I, I feel bad that they had to buy a whole new machine just so they could serve this. But he he, he, he went on about how he missed the pro hot chocolate promotion. He didn't forget it. He did not forget that promotion. And I, I can't forget it either. That's, that's the one thing I had on my mind coming over here. I was like, oh boy, just, just, just you wait. But there's an Auntie Anne's in the mall right here too. So, it's like, we'll just go over there. We'll go over there. All right, that's four minutes of your time wasted because you wanted to review. So, we're going to go ahead and in here, you know, I'm going to try to put in the title that I talked about this on the ends. But, shame on whoever made this guy get a new machine because all he needed was one part. Hmm. First, I just tasted sweetness, some lemonade fab. But now I do taste that mixture of dragon fruit, and I definitely taste mango. It's not a very abrasive or aggressive kind of item. It's not strong, but it is a nice summer beverage. I love doing these summer beverage reviews. There's so many of them and they just never stop they never stop coming well there is a stopping point august when they switch to pumpkin spice and then, then i have fun with that but you know in the middle of july here it's it's 
quite enjoyable. Mm. Yeah, it's a very tropical flavor. It's not overly artificial. I think I get some natural notes to it. I mean, if you look at this, if you, if you just look, you can see it's got natural fruit pieces in it. So it's certain that kind of leans more on the natural side. So that's a very intriguing part of it. But I really have my fingers crossed that they bring the peppermint uh, hot chocolate frost back because, man, I want to try it. As for this, I do wish it was more flavorful. Again, it's a more laid back drink, but I think that kind of comes with the natural mango and dragon fruit flavors is that these are not fruits that have that spark of flavor they are a more kicked back more watery type of fruit and mango may be not really watery but dragon fruit of course is and then you just look at mango it's it's not a very aggressive fruit artificially yes absolutely a very aggressive flavor but this is is, is is just a laid back kind of drink like I just got a piece of the fruit again it's not a huge punch to it but I like it even like the lemonade frost part of it there's not a ton to it so to me it feels like a lighter drink quite enjoyable refreshing um not too cold not gonna give you brain freeze so it's it's got all the really good elements despite the fact that it's not super flavored so i don't know if that makes any sense to you but i just broke down this review into two parts a rant and a breakdown of a beverage that is enjoyable i would give it a seven I don't think it should be lower than that because it's it's tasty, but I don't think it should be higher than that because it's not extremely flavorful. It's just right, but nowhere close to perfect. Anyways, that is my review. I'm sticking to it, and I will see y'all around.